Hello bookworms and welcome back to my channel. Well, let's talk about <laughs> Today's video is going to be about all of the series that I am currently in the middle of because I've realised that I've got quite a few series on the go. This is a video to get me <laughs> to finish these series so that I can start some more because I've got quite a few series on my TBR and I don't really want to start any more when I have so many unfinished ones on the go. <laughs> and this is specifically series where there is still books for me left to consume. So not all of the series are finished series, so some of them have still got books to be written, but like I've still got books to read, if that makes sense. <laughs> and I'm also not going to be talking about unfinished series that where I've read all of the books. So for instance, The Bone Season is an unfinished series but I've read all of the books that can be read so far. Am I making any sense? <laughs> but let's get on with it, you'll figure it out as we go. The first series that I haven't finished is His Dark Materials. Is that what the series is called? It's what the TV show is called, by Philip Pullman. You might have seen the TV show that is based on these books. And basically, the TV show kind of gave me the bug to read them because I've owned these books for a very, very long time. Like literally since I was a child. <laughs> they haven't been read. I think actually these belonged to my sister, but my sister's not a big reader and I wasn't a big physical book reader when I was a child. I only read audiobooks. So that's why these weren't read while we were children. But I've kept them and I was meaning to read them and then the TV show came out and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna read them now. So I have read Northern Lights and the subtle knife. I couldn't tell you what any of these tabs mean right now because I don't I don't do a code. But yeah, I've read these two books and I read them at the beginning of this year. I really enjoyed this one. This one, not so much. I just found it a bit... To be honest, I can't really remember. It wasn't dull, but like I just didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed the first one. I kind of put this one off because it is a bit of a chunk like compared especially compared to the second book it is a lot thicker so I was just kind of putting off reading it and then I got out of the like mindset of it oh my god it's floppy I haven't even noticed that it's like 550 pages which is quite quite a chunky book to be honest it's not that I've lost interest because I still want to know how it ends and I want to read this before the final series comes out but I think this book especially sort of didn't make me lose interest but because I didn't enjoy it as much I just wasn't as like motivated to go on and read the third one. I am enjoying the fact that it is floppy though. <laughs> but I definitely at some point want to finish this series. Whether it will be this year I don't know but then I feel like if I don't read it soon I will completely forget what's happened in the other two books. The next series is the Mirror Visitor series by Christelle Davos. I'm so sorry, I'm awful at names and this author is French. So this is actually translated fiction, this is translated from French to English and it's the first piece of translated fiction that I actually have ever read. Fun fact. This is the only book in the series that I've read so far and this is the only book in the series that I own. I'm pretty sure that there are four books in the series and all four books have been written and translated because that's another thing about translated fiction is that you have to wait for it to be translated. I mean the reason that I haven't completed this series is because I've only just recently read this. I read this last month I think. This one is purely timing and also the fact that I don't actually own the others yet. This is one where I feel like I need to probably read the next one pretty soon because it's one of those books where a lot happens and I feel like if I don't read the next one soon I will definitely forget everything that has happened. And this is sort of a priority series to finish because I really really enjoyed it and I'm very intrigued as to what direction the series is going to go in because this first book doesn't answer a lot of questions. This is a series that I am very much priority to finish. I just need to get myself the other books. The next series is an incredibly long series and it will probably take me an entire lifetime to actually read all of the books in the series and that's the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett. I don't even know how many books are in that series. I have read 
the first two I've read The Colour of Magic and The Light Fantastic and then I also own the third book which is Equal Rights. I love how tiny these books are. The thing about this series is that the first two are very much linked but I think from the third book onwards you don't really need to remember stories or anything or characters because it starts to sort of branch off and because you already are aware of like the world and like the lore of the disc world you don't have to remember as much so I feel like this is very much a series that you can dip in and out of and it doesn't matter how long in between each book it is that you read them am I making any sense? I've got a feeling that I read this years ago because this is like one of my dad's favourites okay, this is actually his copy but yeah I just, I, there's just something in the back of my, my head that, that tells me that I read this a very long time ago and <laughs> forgot about it uh, but I read it last year and then I read Light Fantastic which is the second one a couple of months ago I think I read it in May and then obviously I've got this one which isn't really a priority as I say this series is definitely one that you can dip in and out of but it is a series that I have on the go. The Discworld series. I highly recommend these books if you are a fan of like whimsical fantasy because they're great. <laughs> this next series is an unfinished series but all of it hasn't been written yet but there are still books left for me to read that have been published. <laughs> I feel like I am making this way more complicated than it actually is but welcome to my brain. The Tomorrow's Ancestors series. So there are two books out at the moment. I think I, I've absolutely no idea how many books are going to be in the series. The author has written four so far, I believe. Again, two have been published. I have read the first one, which is Subject 21. Um, oh, and the author is A.E. Warren, I forgot to say. This is a sci-fi dystopia it's about a future where there's been global devastation due to climate change, there's been viruses, and the human race has had to like learn how to cope. But through genetic engineering, they're slowly restoring the ecosystems. And there's like a new class system where you've got sapiens who've got no genetic enhancements. You've got, um, I can't remember what they're called, meadows, medi meadows, med medium, medi, you see, this is why I shouldn't start so many series because I forget all of the information. Okay, I am going to butcher the pronunciations by the way, but you have the sapiens who have got no genetic enhancements, they're basically us. Then you've got Medius. M Medius. I'll put the spelling here. Who have some genetic enhancements and are basically like disease resistant. They're like the second class, so sapiens are at the bottom, then you've got me me medius, medius <laughs> in the middle, and then you've got pri priotas, priotors, again we'll put spelling <laughs> so you can read for yourself, who were like the top of the food chain, I guess. They are genetically enhanced to the gods. <laughs> Strength, intelligence, it, it's just all all the way up um, and they are like, as I say, top of the food chain. They are the rulers. And something that I really enjoyed about that is that you can tell what class someone is by how many syllables are in the name. So sapiens have two syllables. Med- I'm just gonna call them mediums. Mediums have three syllables and the tops have four syllables, which I very much enjoyed. Nice, nice attention to detail that. That was the sheet that came with the book because I, I got sent this one. I got sent this one by the publishers. <laughs> anyway, after that long, unnecessary ramble, this is the second book in the series, The Hidden Base. I bought this one. I wasn't sent this one. This is book two in the series. I haven't read it yet. I probably do need to get a move on and read it because as you can see, information falls out of my own like that. But very much looking forward to reading this and seeing what happens next. Um, I've got very, very high hopes for this series. The next series I am not 
so sure if I am going to carry on with it or not and it's the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. I have read book one, Red Queen, and book two, Glass Sword. This one, I really liked the world, I really liked the powers, didn't particularly enjoy the characters, or Mare, who is the main character, but because I enjoyed the world so much, I stuck with it. I picked up book two, Glass Sword, really didn't like this book. <laughs> uh, this series is in first person, you see it through Mare's point of view. I really don't like Mare, <laughs> especially in this book. And also nothing, nothing happens, absolutely nothing happens. And it took me ages to read it, I think it took me like two weeks to read it. Um, it's not a particularly long book, so... But, I already own this, so I, I bought I bought, as you can see, £3. I bought this after reading the first book, not owning the second one, because I was like, well I'm going to carry on with the series anyway, so I'll, I'll pick this up, because it was fairly cheap. Then obviously I got the second one and read the second one, so I do own this. And I've also been told that the second book is the worst book in the series, that it gets better. Because I do own this, and I've been told it gets better, I probably will read this at some point. I was really disappointed by this book and I really hope this gets better. Tell you one thing though, I do really enjoy these covers. Love that. Love it. Not so keen on this one, because this is like a bone crown. Uh, I just, it's not as pleasing, but these two covers, love them. But yeah, not so sure about this series. If you have read them, is it worth carrying on? Let me know. And the last series, I don't actually own physically. I've been listening to them via audiobook. And that is The Bone Witch by Rin Shapeko. I've read the first one, really enjoyed it. Currently listening to the second one. It's a trilogy. And all of the three books in the trilogy are available on Audible Plus, which is how I'm listening to them. I am absolutely loving this series. As you can see from behind me, big fan of the Grishaverse and uh, I'm constantly looking for books that are similar in vibe. I love elemental powers, which is one of the reasons why I desperately wanted to like Red Queen, because that's elemental powers too. But yeah, The Bone Witch. It's about a young girl who accidentally brings back her brother from the dead, and it turns out that she is a witch and she can perform necromancy. And in this universe, witches are called Ashes. Ashes? Ashes? And she is what's known as a Dark Asher. She is called Tia. Why am I calling her she? Um, Tia is known as a Dark Asher, which are the most powerful, but also the most feared of the Ashers. And you know what? I bloody love that trope. I love the trope of girl finds out she has an ability which just so happens to be a really rare and powerful ability. One of my favourites. And this book delivers on that. And it's also, the way it's told is like through flashbacks. So you have two characters. You have Bard who tells it from the present and then Tia who is sort of telling the story and the flashbacks are like in first person so it's from like a dual perspective. And in the present Tia is now like an outcast and like really powerful and the story is basically telling you how she got to where she is now which I really love but obviously because it's a series there's still lots of unanswered questions that I don't know yet because I'm only halfway through the second book but I'm loving it. That is probably a series that I will finish pretty soon because it's on audiobook and I just will go straight to the next one <laughs> once I've finished. I've basically made this video to try and get myself to actually finish these series because there are so many series that I want to start. Like, I, I really want to start the Caraval trilogy. I own that in its entirety. I haven't read it yet. I'm not gonna start that. Sorry, my someone in the house across the way was not wearing a lot of clothes and their curtains are open. Um, <laughs> Close your curtains, kids. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, I really want to read the Caraval series. 
another series I want to read, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Really want to read that one, but again, it's a fantasy, lots of world building, lots to think about. I need to finish some of these before I can have the brain space for, for another fantasy series. In your opinion, if you've read any of these, which series should I try and finish first? Like, which one should I really prioritise? Let me know. If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the little thumbs up button and also subscribe if you're new here. And click the bell because you get notified when I make a video. Thanks for watching guys and as always, happy reading!